Let's look at diagnosing some common transport symptoms with the transport of your TASCAM 244. First of all, we'll look at the symptoms that are associated with a problem with your control belt. From the previous section, we talked about the control belt being associated with this motor here. Um, there's a belt that goes from the pulley at the top of that motor around this white wheel, and that turns a, a bunch of gears that lowers and raises the magnetic recording heads and the pinch roller. If that's loose or it's decomposed, by which I mean all these rubber parts, if they're left long enough, will actually turn into tar. If that belt is absent, then this is going to turn at full belt and it's going to make a buzzing noise. It's a much noisier motor than the capstan motor or the idler motor. So if you hear a bzzz when the machine first turns on, that's probably because that's very loose or completely missing. And um, the other things that could give away that your control belt needs to be replaced is that the magnetic magnetic heads don't retract when the machine's first turned on. Normally they would retract. If there was a cassette in the machine when that belt snapped, then probably the cassette's going to be stuck. The magnetic heads are going to be up inside the cassette and as a result, you're not going to be able to pull it out of the cavity in the front of the 244. The last symptom you might have if your control belt is kaput is that the transport buttons don't work. It could be that there's enough tension in a deteriorating belt that it's not allowing that motor to turn and go bzzz, but it's not strong enough connection to actually turn any of this stuff. So the logic and the buttons for the transport system are working correctly, but that's not getting through to this series of cams and, and gears. The next set of symptoms that we'll look at will be those associated with the capstan belt. You'll remember from the earlier section the capstan belt goes from this flywheel to this motor here and that that flywheel is attached to this capstan pin. Basically when it's in play mode, pinch roller presses the tape against this metal pin and that controls the flow over the arrays and record and playback heads. If this belt is missing, it's quite likely that when you press play, the tape will go into fast forward mode. Like basically play mode and fast forward mode are gonna seem interchangeable. That's because the idler motor is designed to take the tape up reel, make it turn as fast as possible. Like basically that, the idler is making this one turn that way so the tape's coming through as fast as possible so it's tight against um, the tension created by the pinch roller against the capstan pin. If your control belt is intact, then it may be that the magnetic heads do come up and press against the tape. You might hear the tape play much faster than it's meant to. One way to check that you do have a capstan belt fault without removing this or even opening up the 244. When you insert a cassette in here, these switches are pushed up. This one is the one that actually turns on or off the capstan motor. In later models of Tascam, the capstan pin should rotate all the time, regardless of whether there's a cassette in there. But this one, it switches on and off. If you put a cassette in, then you should hear a, a new whir. Or you can open the cassette door and put your finger in and press that. And then you should hear the whir and also you can touch the capstan and you should feel it rotating. If you hear the whir but you don't feel that rotate, then you know that this pull is turning, but it's not corresponding to making this flywheel turn, which would make that capstan pin rotate. Next, let's look at the symptoms that are associated with a need for replacement of the idler tires. You'll recall that idler tires are a pair of little wheels that connect between this motor and the reels, depending on what mode it's in, you'll fast forward, rewind or play. So we'll be off to this side or this side to turn this reel or this reel respectively. But what will happen with those is if they're too hard, which happens before they start to decompose into tar, then they'll slip or if they become tarry, then they'll stick. Either way, you've got a problem with transferring the energy from this motor here to these reels. So uh, one of the main giveaways that you've got problems with your idler tires is going to be problems with your fast forward or rewind. It might be that fast forward and rewind don't work. It might be they do work, but they're kind of slow or irregular, like you can physically see that when the reels are turning that it's getting slower and then speeding up uh, or maybe it stops altogether it goes for a bit and then stops even though it's not the end of the tape one of the biggest problems you're going to have if your idler tires need to be replaced is that the transport is chewing tape what happens there is if your idler wheels and tires are slipping against the take up reel here it's going to end up not turning as fast as 
the capstan pin. Tape is going to be fed into this area faster then this reel can suck it up. And then what will happen, there'll be an excess of tape here and it'll go around the pinch roller and actually get chewed up here. An early warning sign that you've got problems with your idler tires on the way, which may correspond to these, but sometimes it happens beforehand. If there's a physical squeaking coming from inside your 244, that can be the sound of the idler tires slipping against this. Last of all, let's look at um, the kind of symptoms that we would associate with the necessity for a change of pinch roller. Um, we'll also have have a generalized look at pitch problems since that can have a range of causes. Pretty much the worst thing that's going to happen to your tape if you have the need for a, a pinch roller replacement is the stripping of the surface of the tape. If you encounter a tape that's beginning to sound pretty bad and you looked at it and there's bits missing, it looks like someone's taken sellotape to it and some of the magnetic covering is gone. That's going to be the surface of this rubber becoming sticky. In the early stages, it will leave bits of the pinch roller on the tape. Sometimes in a really bad case, you'll look at the pinch roller and it's actually covered in the you know that kind of metallic, shiny brown surface that Type 2 chrome tapes have. If that pinch roller is really rough, that can manifest in pitch problems. So a regular mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, flutter, these kind of things. But when you've got pitch problems, I don't want to be the one to say that it's definitely the pinch roller because there's a few other things it could be as well. The idler tires can contribute. If this is in a, an early stage of decay and this is slipping and catching, then the tension between the capstan pin and the take-up reel can vary and that can create pitch effects. It can also be a matter of friction. If you've got a bad cassette shell, cheap one or one that hasn't been stored well, then there could be internal friction in the cassette itself that's causing pitch problems. It might be the tape path, by which I mean how the tape's passing over these heads. There's a little metal lip either side of these heads, and if the tape inside the cassette is rubbing against that, that can cause pitch issues. It could be that some other mechanism in here needs lubrication. Sometimes, I'll find that someone's replaced the belts in here, but there's still goo or dirt from a previously deteriorated belt on these pulleys on the flywheel on this wheel. Any dirt on the system can translate into a regular fluctuation in pitch. Sometimes there's actually internal friction in the motors themselves. A little bit of oil like you would use on a sewing machine can help, but it can be just they're so far gone that these motors need to be replaced. But that's an absolute worst case scenario. I mean, if you're having pitch problems, make sure that your pinch roller and your idler tires have been replaced and that should certainly improve matters.